Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. And here on this channel, you know, we talk about fishing, fishing reviews, fish, sometimes a fishing report, you know, just fishing content in general. And this video is going to be a little different. There you go, you can barely see it. And now if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and share as well. If you're interested in wanting to become a Patreon today, then in the description section of this video, there is a Patreon link. You can click on that and that will send you right over to our Patreon page. You know, I'm I'm a bit of a dreamer, right? I, I really am. I, I often stare and look into the stars and just in awe and amazed about what can be out there, the, the planets, the other life forms, you know, what is beyond our solar system, what is out there. And I'm often, since I was a child, I was often look at the sky and even as an adult, you know, growing up in inner city, you know, you really don't have a lot of those clear, clear shots of the heavens, the stars, the solar system, what have you. So a lot of times when I am out fishing and I do go out and in this particular morning, we were just before sunrise getting to wade fish to surf, Jose and myself. And we're looking at the sky and just talking and, and slowly getting our fishing stuff together. It's, it's pretty dark outside. And Jose pointed above me right behind me and said what is that and immediately i thought oh my god it's a bug or, or something because we're slapping mosquitoes and i kind of darted and look and what i saw was just crazy it, it it really was i i didn't know what to think i mean what what is that that's what he said what look and I, I had no idea. I, I didn't know what I was looking at. I, my brain couldn't grasp what I was seeing. I mean, you could have slapped me in the face with a fish. I, I had no idea what that was in the sky. It's not stars. It's not. It's not flares. It's not falling. It's just moving. I mean, it's literally like this big in the sky behind me. I, I, I don't know what it is. Jose doesn't know what it is. Um, we're, we're looking at each other in, in amazement. And what is this thing? <coughs> it's slowly moving across the sky. Just almost on in route. Kind of like you would see an airplane. Just slowly moving in the horizon and getting further and further away. We probably watched it. For several minutes, I took my phone out. I recorded just a little bit. There you go. You can barely see it. That is like a straight line of uh, something. And even if it was a plane pulling something, no, the, it's not. It's the not. The plane will be having them flashing lights on it. That's just straight up in the sky. Look at that. That's weird. That is weird. Oh, weird. That's crazy. It's Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. <laughs> what, is it? what is And I remember I was just, I just couldn't put focus on my eyes and trying to see it's, if it's connected. It, it, is it the edge of something? It's, it's got to be something. It's got to be, I mean, it's a UFO, right? But it's a lot of them. Government planes? I mean, the government have been flying stealth fighters since like the 50s. I mean, the internet's been out since the 50s. Of course, we didn't get it to the 90s, but the internet's been out since the 50s. So what? it's, it's got to be man-made. I mean, it's man-made. It's got to be. Straight line. Nothing in nature is in a straight line. So I didn't know what to think. Jose didn't know what to think. We kind of laughed it off. But we both know that we really had no explanation what that crazy lights in the sky were over Galveston. 
We didn't know. So I put it on my mind. Put it on my mind. I went and fished. We went and uh, wade fished a little bit. And uh, a few days later, coming offshore, a friend of mine, Troy, which, happy birthday, Troy. Troy posted on Facebook that he posted a picture of uh, what he was seeing in the sky, and he posted a video. What is it? Barely. What is it? Look at all those that's, lights. That's sand in his reindeer. And it disappears. No, it's still there. Yeah. Barely. Now, Troy's seeing the same thing that we're seeing, and Jose and I, and Troy and his friend, or friends, I don't know how many people are on the boat, they're coming offshore, and they're, they're seeing the exact same thing that we're seeing. And and it's kind of funny because you hear Troy in the video saying it's Santa's a reindeer, and and I I told Jose the exact same thing. It looks like Santa and his reindeer. Um, so I I took to the internet. I went and looked. Okay, had to search it out. I had to figure out what is in the sky. So I went to the internet and and I went and searched. You know, lights in the sky over Galveston. One of the things that if you go to the internet internet and you search, you can search um, SpaceX satellite train spacex satellite train on this website you can see how do you see spacex stunning starlink satellite train we were seeing satellites in the sky put there by spacex which is pretty awesome it's pretty amazing yeah i'm a little disappointed it wasn't aliens you know and they didn't take me for a ride because i'm very interested i know mars has a frozen lake and i'm very interested in in getting on mars and and fishing that frozen lake i know there's some i know it's killer fish in there it's not pressure at all so i know there's some killer fish in that frozen lake but as i'm reading and as i'm looking at spacex okay so it's right here spacex Fal falcon nine rocket lifted off with 46 starlink internet satellites from space launch complex cape T cape kennedy 46 satellites that's what it is it brings internet to far rural places on the planet so i just think that's amazing that and you know that we're able to bring internet to rural places around the planet and the amazing you can check out this website for yourself they also recommend a couple of a couple of um apps uh that you can track it the starwalk app too and also satellite tracker now i did i downloaded the uh the star starwalk app you can see right here it kind of just this it kind of shows you your horizon and then it shows you if you scroll up and down it might not be in focus, so I apologize. But if you scroll up and down, you kind of see below you and then above you kind of like what is out there, what's going on, satellites, constellations. So, I mean, that's really cool. I used to play around with, with a couple of different um, apps with the phone when I, you know, looking outside, looking at the stars, especially with my son. But that's cool that you could try to track yourself. And this, this apparently this website gives you uh give you a place where you can track as well i hadn't really fooled with it that much i just kind of did a quick search on it but um i'll leave the links in the description section below i just thought it was really cool i thought it was kind of trippy that i saw it and then like the very next day my friend posted about it so maybe we saw it on the same day i don't know i haven't really spoke to him about it but i thought it was cool i thought i would share with you guys that you know jose and i were going out and getting some fish patreon did open invite jose came out and then we were both like very cool stuff spacex Hats off to you. Check out the website. Check out that app. See if maybe you can track. And next time this the satellite train rolls through your area, you can go outside and take a peek. Until next time, I hope you catch me hooking up. Thanks.